I happened to be showering and I noticed a couple bumps on my neck and I hadn't noticed them before. Worried me a bit, but I was hoping they would go away. So I waited until my annual physical and I showed them to my internist. She thought they could have been just from a pulled tendon and I was a little bit more insistent and I was concerned so she ordered a neck and a chest CT. From that they saw some enlarged lymph nodes. So then I had some blood work done and after the staff reviewed all the results they determined that it could have been just a virus and to hold off and see if they disappeared. When they didn't disappear I had a biopsy of a lymph node and then a bone marrow biopsy and from that they determined I had Waldenstrom's. Like anything else, until you or your loved one, when something happens, you don't really appreciate its value. And I had heard about clinical trials, but I never understood their potential. I feel more powerful, more in control when I have options. And because of research and funding, I have choices, either with a course of treatment with a known drug or a clinical trial. There are always, there's always an issue, but options to me is the key. I am forever grateful for Dana-Farber, for Dr. Trion's research staff. He thanked me for participating. And I never really considered it from his point of view because I was so thankful for the opportunity. But then I realized researchers need participants and participants need research. And I truly feel that that's the way that cancer will be cured. It's the only other thing I can say is that I'm a mom and I have that mom dilemma where I do when I do when I do and you tend not to think about yourself. You need your nails polished or you need, you'd love to read that library book. But now's the time to take a few minutes to be selfish, to say no when you, when you really you know you should be saying yes, say no. And that's the only thing that I've kind of learned to understand and respect and um, to do for myself.